Today is March the 21st. How does God do his work? Let's find out together as we read Exodus 29 to 31. So today as we read through the Bible in a year, I'd like you to read Exodus chapters 29 through 31. Here in these chapters, um, it's kind of a hodgepodge of uh, different things. Chapter 29 talks about the consecration and ordination of the priests, the people who were to lead Israel in their uh, cult to the Lord, sacrificing animals and, and uh, worshiping the Lord in that manner. Chapter 30 then gives us the plan for the furniture that's to go inside the tabernacle. Uh, the tabernacle plan was laid out in Exodus chapter 26, but now in chapter 30, Moses has given specific instructions on uh, the fabrication of all of the furniture elements that take place inside the tabernacle. Then in chapter 31, an interesting chapter, uh, the beginning tells us, chapter 31, verse 2, look, the Lord says, I have specifically chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, grandson of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Spirit of God, giving him great wisdom, ability, and expertise in all kinds of crafts. The Lord says that he has appointed him and Aholiab uh, to build the furniture using other craftsmen to whom God has given a holy ability, the Spirit of the Lord. These are the first people that are said to have been full of the Holy Spirit. And then uh, starting in verse 12, Moses uh, explains the law of the Sabbath. I looked at that chapter and I realized, hey, first part of the chapter deals with holy work. The second part of the chapter deals with holy rest. So what do we take away from these chapters? Well, we started with the question, how does God do his work today? Um, God has a plan for the world. How does he get it done? Well, chapter 29, he consecrates and ordains certain people to do certain tasks. In chapter 31, he consecrates and calls other people to do other kinds of work. How does God do his work today? God always prepares his people to do his work. It's not up to us to sit back and simply say, God, when you want to do something, go ahead and do it. We are a part of his plan. Find out today what it is that God wants you to be doing and go do it. Like, follow, and subscribe to this podcast on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll answer the question, how important are we in God's work? <laughs>